Sidewalks covered in snow and ice, a problem for pedestrians, including parents walking their kids to school. My son was walking, and I told him, be careful, it's icy. But, you know, kids, they don't care, they just run. <laughs> and he fell, and he's now soaked for the third time. Some choose to take to the streets due to poor conditions on sidewalks, forcing drivers over the median traffic line. We do understand that there are situations where people that are, are traveling on foot uh, on the sidewalk and um, run into a situation where it might be hazardous to continue to walk on the sidewalk, may have to go into the road where it's clear. Uh, we just we, we urge our drivers and our pedestrians to just use caution in these situations and to be aware of their surroundings and, and just kind of take it take a step back a little bit and uh, just be a little bit more cautious during these times. The City of Utica Codes Department says it's up to property owners to handle the clearing of sidewalks. And in this situation, those, those issues are codes issues. And if somebody in their block sees a neighbor that is not taking care of their uh, sidewalk or driveway, they're, they're urged to contact the codes department so that it can be enforced. The city codes department declined to go on camera, but they say enforcement includes property inspection, followed by a letter notifying the area needs to be cleared. If that request isn't fulfilled, the department says they will issue violators a ticket to appear in court. If there's, you know, an elderly neighbor that maybe can't shovel a driveway, maybe there's somebody that can help. Um, obviously, if people have a good relationship, we would urge, you know, uh, you know, talk c civilly. Uh, if it's somebody that they, they don't want to approach or they're uncomfortable approaching, we urge them to contact our codes department. If, if it's a persistent problem throughout the, throughout the winter, um, we definitely want them to contact our codes department so that uh, it can be addressed. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.